Welcome to the channel, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a take profit and stop loss at the same time on the spot market by using an OCO order, which stands for one cancels the other. Before we begin, I want to let you know that this is not financial advice. This video is intended for educational purposes only. If you end up getting some value out of it, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. To set up a take profit as well as a stop limit order at the same time on the spot market, the first thing we need to do is come down to our order panel and over here on the right you'll see where it says stop limit and there's a little triangle next to that. Click on the triangle and then select OCO from this drop down menu. This order type stands for one cancels the other. Now that we have the order panel configured, we need to choose a price point to take profit and a price point to set up our stop limit. So let's come up here to the chart and let's imagine that we want to target this pivot point on the market right here. What I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal here from my drawing tools and let's go ahead and mark that out. Something like this. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 2,492. Let's set our take profit at that price point. To do that, we'll come down here to the order panel and we'll type that in the price 2,492. If the price of Ethereum increases to 2,492, we'll be selling our Ethereum and taking profit. So now we need to set up our stop limit. The first step to doing that is choosing a stop price. This is going to be a price point that acts as a condition that tells KuCoin to place a limit order to sell our coins. So let's come back up here to the chart and let's imagine that we want to set our stop price somewhere around this pivot point on the market right here. I'll go ahead and grab a horizontal here for my drawing tools and let's mark out these candle bodies, something like that. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,422. So now we'll come down here to our order panel and we'll type that into stop. So 1,422. If the price of Ethereum comes down to 1,422, that's going to tell KuCoin to place a limit order to sell our coins. So now we need to choose a limit price. Let's come back to the chart and let's imagine that we want to set up our limit price somewhere just below this wick right here. Once again, I'll grab a horizontal here for my drawing tools and I'll go ahead and go slightly below this wick, something like that. Now we can see the price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,360. So we'll come back down here to our order panel and we'll type that into limit, 1,360. If the price of Ethereum comes down to 1,422, a limit order to sell our coins will be placed at 1,360. Now there's a couple things to know about this. The first thing is, is I like to leave enough breathing room between my stop price and my limit price so that KuCoin has enough time to place the order to sell my coins. In the very rare event that price action is moving really fast and gets below that limit price before your coins sell, the coins will simply be placed on the order book as a limit order to sell. You won't actually be selling the coins. You'll be waiting for price action to bounce and come back up to your limit price before that order fills and sells your coins and there's no guarantees that that will happen. The second thing to know is when your stop price gets hit, KuCoin will move to sell your coins for your limit price, so in my case here, be 1,360 or better. If there's a better price available on the order book when your stop price gets hit, your coins will sell for a higher price than your limit price. So it's certainly okay to leave a little bit of room between your limit price and your stop price. Now we need to choose the quantity of the asset we wish to sell if our take profit gets hit or if our stop loss gets hit. So we'll come back down here to the order panel and in quantity, we'll type in the amount we wish to sell. Of course, we can see our available balance right here. So we know exactly what we're working with. I'll just go ahead and sell everything if my take profit gets hit or if my stop loss gets hit. Once you have this order set up the way that you want it, you just simply click on sell. Now we've placed that OCO order. So to recap, if Ethereum was to come up and hit my take profit target up here, I'd be selling my Ethereum for a profit. If this target gets hit, it'll automatically cancel my stop loss. If price action is to continue to the downside and hit my stop price, my coins are going to sell for 1,360 or better if there's a better price point available in the order book when my stop price gets hit. If my stop loss gets hit, it's going to automatically cancel my limit order to take profit. One order cancels the other. If you want to find the details of your order, you just come down here next to open orders. You'll see where it says advanced orders. Click on that and here's where you'll find the details of your one cancels the other order. 
This order will stay in place until either your take profit target gets hit, your stop loss gets hit, or you manually cancel it. So if at any point you want to cancel it, you just come over here on the right hand side and click on cancel. And as you can see, I just removed that OCO order. Of course, you'll have to do your own technical analysis on the asset that you're looking to set this up on and choose price levels that make the most sense for you. But that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you set up a take profit and a stop loss on the spot market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out some of my other KuCoin tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel for you. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.